let's look closely at what I tune into as the hidden meanings of two other popular Mandela effects. The first is Darth Vader's line of Luke, I am your father from Star Wars and its hidden meaning related to the Anunnaki. about buying this guy, but uh, I want to make sure he's the real thing. Uh, can you make him say, Luke, I am your father? Darth Vader said it. Just play ball, Hamill. Just play ball. That's All right. <clears throat> Luke, I am your father. Uh, I'm sorry, man. That sucked. What does the redneck Jedi say? No, you ask that because I'm a redneck or because I'm a Jedi? No, because we're both rednecks. But, <laughs> okay. But, but, well, the you're... redneck Jedi says, Luke, I am your father and your uncle. <laughs> <laughs> That's not true. That's impossible. Search your feelings. You know it to be true. No, no, no. In this short excerpt of dialogue, that's a lot of no's. Perhaps the word no, N-O, as in refusing something, is not what's meant. Words have different frequencies, and the word we hear as N-O could also be K-N-O-W, which means to be aware or comprehend or realize something. Is it possible that Darth Vader is telling Luke to comprehend he is his father, to realize that he is his father? Let's watch that scene again and think about the word K-N-O-W instead of N-O. Obi-Wan never told you what happened to your father. He told me enough. He told me you killed him. No. I am your father. No. No. It's not true. That's impossible. Search your feelings. You know it to be true. That's a lot of no's. At the end, Luke is so distressed, he jumps off the platform. He finally realizes that what he saw on Yoda's planet of Dagobah, when he faced his worst fear and saw his face in Vader's helmet, that yes, Darth Vader was his father and they were connected. Now, let's take this to one more level of understanding. Darth Vader's real name is Anakin Skywalker. The name Anakin has Germanic roots, meaning the son of Anu, or family or kin of Anu. Perhaps Anu, which is said to be the father of the ET species known as the Anunnaki. Anu is an early Mesopotamian sky god who is later viewed as the father of the gods and ruler of the heavens, the divine, personification of the sky. Skywalker can refer to one who walks in the sky, perhaps from outside this world or outer space. Could Anakin Skywalker mean Anunnaki Skywalker? The Anunnaki, rulers of the sky, Skywalkers. What about the hero of the story, Luke Skywalker? Are you a Jedi? I am. The name Luke means bright one, bringer of light, and light of the sacred flame. Anakin represents the dark side of the Force. Luke represents the light side of the Force. 
Together, they bring balance to the force. The Anunnaki are known as the creators or father of our modified genetic human DNA code. Would you be upset to learn and realize that the Anunnaki genetically modified humans for their own purposes? Perhaps not just humans. Take the pig, for example. The genetic DNA similarity between pigs and humans is 98%. Organ transplants between humans and pigs have even taken place, including heart transplants. Is it possible that the Anunnaki Skywalkers crossed a wild boar with a human around 12,000 years ago? And if they did, why? Perhaps the reason is simple, to introduce humans to cannibalism by the eating of pork to keep our frequency low. A low frequency helps ensure that a human will not awaken and stay a slave to the matrix. Could that be the reason why religions such as Judaism, Islam, Orthodox Christian, and others don't eat pork? Something to consider the next time you eat some bacon. The Anunnaki are not usually viewed as the good guys. They want to enslave and harvest humanity. What could this concept of the harvest mean? Perhaps it started with the giant trees of Earth. Perhaps it was discovered that an ambrosia or drug type substance could be harvested from these giant trees. Then those giant trees were harvested to extinction. We can only see the remains of some, such as Devil's Tower in Wyoming or Esvedra near Ibiza, Spain. With the giant trees extinct, perhaps it was learned that humans could be harvested for that same substance. Perhaps there is soft disclosure in the movie Jupiter Ascending about the Anunnaki and something called the harvest for an anti-aging or ambrosia or nectar or drug type substance harvested from humans. What is that? It has many names. Regenex, Resal, Nectar. There are various levels of usefulness and quality, but this is the most pure and most valuable solution made by the House for Brassix. Kui came out of a bath. Naturally, my sister didn't explain what it is or where it comes from. It comes from people. Each unit is refined from approximately a hundred human beings. What? Your planet is a farm, Jupiter. There are thousands of planets like yours set up by families like mine to supply an ever-increasing demand for more time. You say you killed a hundred people to make this? Not me, but... Yes, someone did. Not like butchering a herd of cattle. <gasps> oh my god. It's all right. It's all right. This concept is also explored in the classic science fiction series called Dune. Something called the Spice is a fictional psychedelic drug that can lengthen lifespan, improve health, and heighten awareness. He who controls the Spice controls the world. This concept is also explored in the movie Avatar 2 with a substance known as Amrita, which is a yellow neurocrine liquid found in the brain of the Tolkien whales. It is the most valuable substance on the moon Pandora and can extend human life indefinitely. In ancient Sanskrit, Amrita means immortality. Is it possible that this Mandela effect is telling us to know to realize that the Anunnaki represent our father related to our genetically modified DNA. The Anunnaki may claim ownership of the earth, but do they really?